Michael Lorison want to go first? Everybody watching on video? Uh, uh, and, uh, other, other people of the public uh, interested parties uh, have also expressed an interest and in, we told them where to view at the jail. John, uh, so the court calls again the case for the third time this week, Justin Michael Lorison. Mr. Lorison, you're here. Remember your right to remain silent. This is your first appearance on additional charges coming uh, uh, from yesterday, a continuation of uh, a matter from uh, probably the night before last or uh, into yesterday morning. Uh, the reason I said on the record yesterday that uh, we have to find out what's going on is not that I'm going to be looking into your case, but that because uh, a, uh, a charging document or a uh, police report was turned in with the veto officers of how they caught up to you in the end, that today's charges reflect those charges in between uh, happening earlier in the evening, and they include as follows. Two counts of first-degree arson, one count of grand theft of a motor vehicle, um, the animal torture uh, by felony infliction of, with pain, attempted homicide, uh, burglary of a dwelling, and aggravated uh, battery on a person uh, uh, un, uh, at 65 years of, or, or older while driving and uh, uh, getting away from that residence or apartment complex in Winter Springs. Uh, additional charges uh, were, are added also for uh, multiple criminal, uh, civil infractions, but mostly reckless driving and fleeing and attempting to elude. Those two charges are spread out over case numbers 21, CF 905, and 906 accordingly. There also then are additional charges that cropped up at the jail yesterday morning. Uh, Maybe even this morning, I don't know. They all run together. But uh, that's damage to property, criminal mischief of jail property, as well as damage and interference with fire sprinkler equipment at the jail. Uh, on all these cases, I'm going to cross the point to public defender. And your cases are all, uh, for our purposes and yours, set with Circuit Judge Nelson, arraignment uh, on all these new matters, as well as the Oviedo one yesterday, I believe, uh, for June the 8th. 1.30 for formal felony arraignment. Um, you need to know that uh, while there are technical uh, bonds, scheduled bonds for, for reckless driving and fleeing and eluding, that I'm going to be finding not only probable cause on all these matters, but in every count on, in case number 21 CF 905, I'm going to be holding you with no bond. I find that you're a danger to the community and a flight risk, and that you will not be released with a bond until Judge Nelson of the circuit court can hear from your lawyers. Uh, so you also will have no contact with Catherine Bennett. That's uh, uh, any type of contact. Uh, she doesn't want to.